This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student Course. In this lesson we'll learn how to graph trigonometric functions. In a graphs application, check to see that the calculator is in radian mode. With the CX2 you can move your cursor to be over the degree or radian in the top right hand corner. On the handheld, press the middle of the touchpad to change the mode. As I'm using the computer software, I can click using the mouse to change the mode. Click once to change to degrees and click again to change back to radians. We are going to graph sine x. You may wish to type the trigonometric function. SI. Notice that SI is in italics, then once the n has been entered, the font changes, as sine is a stored command. Brackets, then x. Another method of entry. Press the delete key. Press the trig key, select sign, then enter x. Press enter. The graph of sign x has been plotted with the standard window. To change the window settings, press menu, select window zoom. There are many options to pick from. In this instance, select Window Settings. We're going to graph sine x for one period. If you want the y-axis to be on the left-hand side of the screen, enter 0 for x minimum. If you prefer seeing the y-axis off the edge of the screen, enter a value, for example, negative 1. Press Tab to move to the next entry field or use the down arrow. Require 2 pi, enter 2. Press the pi key and select pi. Tab down to the scale, enter pi over 2. If you enter pi, the calculator recognises that it is pi. With the y axis, negative 4 to 4 with a scale of 1. Move to OK and press Enter. If you wish to change the graph in degrees, change the mode in the top right hand corner. The window needs to be changed. Press Menu. Select Window Zoom. Select Zoom Trig. Negative 360 degrees to 360 degrees. You may then wish to change these window settings by again pressing Menu. Selecting Window Zoom. And selecting what you require. Select Window Settings, 0 for X minimum, an X scale of 90, a Y scale of 1, tab to OK and press Enter. This method works in reverse if you start in degrees then wanted to graph using radians. Insert a new graphs application. Select Add Graphs. Change the mode back to radians. Press Menu. Select Window Zoom. Select Window Settings. Negative 2 pi to 2 pi with a scale of pi over 2. And the Y axis negative 4 to 4 with a scale of 1.
we are going to add sliders. In function 2, enter sine a multiplied by x. Be careful as if you do not use a multiplication the calculator will recognize ax as one variable and then plus c. Press enter. There will be a window is shown and there's a slider for the frequency for a and c. The sliders are placed on your screen. On the calculator you can move the sliders by moving your cursor to the cursor area and pressing the middle of the touchpad for two seconds to close the hand. Move the sliders to where you want them. Press the middle of the touchpad to release. There are different types of sliders. Horizontal, vertical, sliding scale and minimized. With slider A and the cursor over slider A, right click which is the control menu. Select settings. A will be starting at 1, tab down to step size and enter 1, tab to style and right arrow and change to vertical, press tab to minimize and select. Tab to OK and press Enter. You now have a vertical minimized slider. Press the up and down arrows of the slider to change the sliders by 1. Slider C can be changed to suit your preferences. Be sure to check out more of the videos in this series. Thank you for watching.